You know, it's kind of funny how in vanilla Minecraft, these villagers are super overpowered. And now we're here in modded and these guys are still super overpowered. It is amazing. <laughs> Welcome back, my beautiful builders, to some more Vault Hunters here with episode number two. And in today's episode, we are going to be heading to the end. But quick recap. In the last episode, we went into the nether and got ourselves some blaze rods. And in between the last episode and this episode, I actually healed these guys up. So you guys remember, whoops, my bad, and I'm sorry. Yeah, all of those guys that were zombie villagers, I healed them in between the last episode and this episode. Since I now have some blaze rods. Um, I thought that I also needed nether wart, but if we look up the potion of weakness recipe, turns out I didn't need nether wart at all. I actually just needed fermented spider eye water bottles, and then blaze rods to actually power the brewing stand. So, didn't need nether wart, but that's okay. Easy enough. We got that in the last episode. I also took some blaze powder, and I bought some ender pearls off of this dude right here, and now we have some eyes of ender so that we can actually go and find the end portal. Also, in the last episode, we got enough diamonds that we should be able to create the vault altar. So, there's only one thing that we are still missing. We have obsidian, we have the diamonds that we need, the last thing we need is purper blocks, which is why today we're going to the end. And I know I said that pretty triumphantly, as if we were going to go there right this second, but I actually, oh wait, no, don't get out. <laughs> I actually have one more villager that I want to make real quick, and that is the Fletcher, because I don't have any arrows. Well, hello there, my good sir. How are you today? It looks like you do indeed have an arrow trade, and you also have a training arrow. That is interesting. Deals no damage used for practice. Make each shot more difficult. Uh, well, I don't want something that deals no damage, but now I'm curious... Is there a way for me to get a different type of arrow? I guess not. Not in this case, at least. All right, let's go ahead and let's just fill up on regular arrows. And then let's see if this guy restocks. Maybe he has another arrow type. <gasps> Slime arrow. Bounces a number of times. Low damage, high... No oh, man, that's disappointing. I mean, I guess I could get bows, but that's... I don't want a bow. No, it's... Let's do this. Okay. All right. Let's see. What, give me another arrow. Give me another type of arrow. I don't know what a slime arrow does, so. Uh, ooh. A frost arrow. Chills target and freezes nearby blocks on impact. Ooh, now that one. That one sounds cool. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. You need to give more things like that. Then, then we would be the best of friends. Okay. Let's go with frost arrows. I, I'm not going to lie to you, though. I kind of want more of those. Let's let's go in just real quick and let's use our vein miner and let's let's just grab some pumpkins and some melons and then we'll go get some emeralds from our farmer guy. And let's see if we can get even more types of arrows or something. Like I'm kind of hoping that these arrows are really really powerful. I'm also hoping that I don't need to unlock anything with research in order to actually use these things. I'm hoping they just kind of work. A challenge arrow? What the heck is this? Deals no damage. Why would I want anything that deals no damage? That's that, that literally defeats the purpose of an arrow. Okay. All right. I don't know. What level are you? You're, you're expert. So you have one more, one more thing for master. All right. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, against my better judgment, I'm going to do it. Now that, that is what I'm talking about, buddy. Now you're getting it. Arrow of harming. Instant damage two. Perfect. Two emeralds plus five arrows. You know what? That's, that's worth it. That, that is more like what I'm talking about, bud. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's just throw the, okay. The frost arrows are cool too. I don't know which one, which one does it use? Uh, that looks like he's using regular arrows. Uh, do I have to, like, choose what's loaded into this thing or what? Okay, okay, I figured it out. I just had to take the other arrows out of my inventory, and then it started using the frost arrows. Perfect. Okay, so that's easy enough. Now I just need regular arrows and emeralds to get the instant harming 
uh, arrows. Yeah, perfect. Okay, just need emeralds. Alrighty, so I think we are now ready. I have all of my gear. I have myself my Eyes of Ender. I have myself some pretty good arrows. And I have some backup arrows just in case we need them. So I went ahead and put them in this chest so it doesn't mess anything up. But we have the frost arrows and the regular arrows just as a backup. So without further ado, let's see where we're heading. Aha, this way. Okay, and I'm not gonna do triangulation or anything like that to try and find the end portal. I'm just gonna do it the old school way. Mostly, mostly because I don't feel like doing the math today. All right, so the Eye of Ender has led us over to this ocean. And before I go out over the seas, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we did actually need to go out there. Oh man, we lost our first eye. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go over the sea in order to find our stronghold. Now, once again, we are in 1.16 technically because that's what version this mod is on. And because of that, technically speaking, we could get an ocean stronghold, which means that the stronghold is actually exposed in the ocean. And it's kind of rare for that to happen, but it can happen in this update specifically because this was before they added a check to make sure that, hey, there's no, you know, <laughs> there's no ocean here, right? That we don't want exposed oceans for our strongholds in the, you know, newer updates of Minecraft. But in this one, you know, they didn't, you know, I guess think about that or something. I don't know. But anyway, strongholds can definitely spawn in the ocean. And uh, we could just be, you know, boating along here and boom, there's the stronghold. <laughs> totally possible in 1.16 for that to happen. Not saying it will here, but, you know, possible. And just before we made landfall over there at that little island, I decided to throw another Eye of Ender and I think we have an ocean stronghold. <laughs> now, I don't see it as exposed or at least I, uh, I haven't seen it. I haven't really been paying that close of attention to the ocean floor, but definitely seems like it's somewhere between where we're at here and where we threw our last pearl, which was, uh, let's see, we were here, I believe. So somewhere, somewhere in this stretch is where this, is where this stronghold is. Really doesn't narrow it down that much, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I definitely should have thrown more pearls, I feel like. So we're probably going to throw a couple of more just to see what we can find. I do see some light underneath here. And I'm kind of wondering if that is maybe a torch from the stronghold or something. <sighs> May go down there and look. I definitely see light there, right? Let's go ahead and let's just... Let's go down. Let's see what it is. That looks like it is... That actually looks like a sea lantern. What is a sea lantern doing here? Uh, I don't know, but I broke it. And I'm lagging. Ow, what am I getting hit by? What am I getting hit by? Now I'm drowning. Oh no, everything's being a failure. <laughs> Get in the boat. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're gonna chalk that up as a dead end. That's what we're gonna say. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, ocean exposed stronghold. <laughs> Oh, hello, Skeletor. How are you doing? Uh, your arrows are not going to work very well underwater. I have the advantage, buddy. Hello, I spy. I spy the stronghold itself. Hello. Can you go away? You too. Thank you. I need you guys all to go away. I just realized I did not bring any torches, so it is going to be very, very dark in here. However... We are moving, you know, we're moving toward... Ah, oh, hi. Hello. Uh, die. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, we're moving toward a torch, so that's fine. Hello, creep. How you doing? Um, now I just need to find the actual portal room, which I did not see from the surface. So we're probably going to follow backwards doors until we find the starting staircase and then work our way from there. That's probably going to be our best option, unless we just happen upon the portal room. Uh, this may be starting staircase, actually. Let's see. How did this door... Oh, yeah, that may be starting staircase there. Okay, so that means our portal room should be pretty close to that area. So, 
It's usually around four to five rooms from the starting staircase. Oh, a library. Oh, that's a big deal. Hello? What's down there? Hello? I don't see anything. Uh, that's a big deal. A library is always a big deal. That's a lot of books. Okay. Huh. Huh. Do I want to tear all this down right now? Or do I want to come back here later and do it? Probably, probably come back here later and do it, right? Okay, let's let's set up a waypoint real quick, and then we'll we'll do this later. All right, there we go. Stronghold Library waypoint is set. Also, I just noticed there's a chest here. Ooh, ancient tome plus one thorns. Okay, interesting. Plus one imp. You know what? I'm just I don't even know what all this stuff is. I'm just gonna take it because I feel like it could be useful. I also see a chest down here. Hello, what do you have? Uh, you got lure, and knockback, and more lure. Oh, check this out. Um, by the way, this is why these crates are so awesome, by the way, because I can just, like, pew, throw all of the stuff in that we get from exploring and not have to worry about it. It's like shulker boxes, but not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like shulker boxes, but totally not. Okay, let's go ahead and head this way. Um, I'm completely lost inside the stronghold at this point now, by the way. I kind of, uh, well, I took my own detour. That's what I did. I took my own detour. However, if you look at the map, I do now see the end portal on the minimap. So that'll be easy to get to now that it's nice and highlighted for us. It should be uh, not this way. We must have to go over top up here. And then is it down? Must be down. There it is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> More stuff. Hello, silverfish. Go away. Don't want you. Don't want you. Need you to die. And I want to get rid of you because you are annoying. And let's just prep this room real quick. We're going to do it just like we do vanilla. We're going to safety spawn. Not safety spawn. Safety. Safety if I. Yeah, safety if I. That's a word, right? It is now. Uh, we're going to safety if I this room. Because I don't particularly want to die. I'm just going to take blocks out of the wall here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. There we go. That's how you get bricks. All right. And then there we go. Do, do, do. Please place the blocks where I want you to go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. That should be good. And then we'll boop, boop, seal that in. And then we're going to go ahead and set a waypoint. And we'll call it the end. Beautiful. Confirm. Waypoint. Beautiful. All right. Now we just need to doop, 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 Beautiful. Hello, end portal. All right. Now it's dragon fight time, which I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous for, but I think we should be fine. The arrows should do us well for good damage. And then... Apart from that, I have a bucket on my hot bar for in case he throws me into the air. I can hopefully do some MLG Pro skills and, you know, save myself. That That's the hope anyway. Yeah, let's go for it. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, we could end up right on the edge of the island and he could, you know, knock us off immediately. That wouldn't be good. All right, let's go ahead and knock out all of these crystals. My aim is going to be terrible, by the way, because I haven't shot in a bow in a long time. I don't tend to use bow and arrow very often in Minecraft. But when I do, I'm a sniper! I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not actually a sniper. I'm actually pretty terrible with the bow. Oh, I missed barely. Got it. I heard you. I heard you shoot at me. Please don't do that. Shooting at me is not nice. It is confirmed as not being nice. Boom! Nailed it. Please don't do that. We could have been friends, except that I'm destroying your crystals, so we're definitely not going to be friends. Ah! Ha-ha! I'm the best. I saw you shoot at me again. No, go away. Dude, dude we're going to be able to snipe this dude with these arrows, though, right? A little bit higher. Nailed it. All right, let's go. Let's go. We ain't got time for this. We got to get moving. I haven't shown a dragon fight in a long time, by the way. 
But I feel like I may actually show this one because I feel like this one. Ooh, this one's gonna be fun. This one's gonna be fun. Never mind. Maybe it's not gonna be as fun as I thought. Oh, come on higher. Ha ha! I didn't hit that one. We gotta turn around. Yoink! Nailed it. All right, we got. Is it just one crystal left? Oh wow, I may be setting a world record pace here. Oh, nailed it. Okay, are there any left? I actually don't think that there are. Get wrecked. Oh, I also am supposed to be grabbing up bottles of that stuff, but I forgot bottles, so. I guess we'll have to spawn the dragon in another time. Later on. Maybe. Okay, dude, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill out here. You're you're obviously not perching, so I'm not gonna waste my time. Where you go? Oh, nailed it. I don't know why he's circling that tower specifically over and over again. I really want you to perch, buddy. Uh oh there he goes. He's climbing. He's climbing. I can just aim right in that area. Ah, oh, okay. He's coming. He's coming down. Boom. 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 All right, now. I want to get... That was very loud. Rip headphone users, including myself, because I am using headphones. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I need some Pirates of the Caribbean music. <laughs> Back to the battle! <laughs> All right, Ender Dragon, you got the best of me the first time, but I hope you're ready for round two because I am hopefully ready. Oh, you're still perched. Look at you. What a good dragon. Okay, can you just leave my body alone? Oh, and leave me alone, please. Well, alrighty then. All right, dragon. All right. I hope you're ready for round three because I'm coming in with the knockout. That's what. That's what's happening. I hope, I hope this time. If not, this is, this is gonna be a lot of trips and a lot of boats. All right, back in again. I've died so many times trying to get back here. To be honest with you, I'm starting to think that the end is actually safer than the stronghold is. <laughs> but hopefully I can at least get to my stuff this time. I only have two death points. I'm gonna go to my, to my old one first. And the reason for that is it has all of my good gear. So I want that first and transfer items and I can't get all my items. Okay. That guy is firing at me. Do I have? Yes. Okay. I got my good gear on now. Let's go ahead and let's toss that. Can I get? Yes. And let's throw this down and I'm just going to load it up with stuff throw it down again okay stuff is loaded up with okay i want i have a bottle in here yes okay i want to grab your fire stuff okay beautiful got that you need a mint and while you're doing that i'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of that stuff no no please don't golden apple time need more health I'm not even looking at the dragon, to be honest with you. Kind of ridiculous. Not gonna lie. Give me all of this, please. Pl Why can't I get all of this? I have the inventory space. Where is the dragon? You're way over there. Okay. I'm good. Can I get it? Okay. I don't know if it let me get it or not. Yeah, I did. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So it was just being weird. Okay, give me this, give me that. All right, and this dude 
Because, yeah, he's going to charge me. He's going to charge me. All right. Did a little dash there. Do I need this? All right, where are you at? The fight's back on, buddy. And now, I'm pretty ticked off. Which isn't good for you. Uh, are you coming? Are you, are you coming? Yep. He's coming. Okay. I am going to get here. And when you land... I get to smoke you in the face. Let's get my water bucket. Perfect. Okay. That worked out actually really well. Get out the way. All right. That worked. I need food on my bar. Uh, this is probably best. Put it in the spot that I actually keep my food in normally. That way I can swap to it instinctively. No. Okay, this is actually a really tough dragon fight. Theoretically. Go away. No, 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 no. Running. Running. Where's my god apple? I want my god apple. Go. Go. Give me all the regen. I can't believe I just wasted a god apple on the dragon. But I've had enough of this dude. Come on. Bring it. This is the worst dragon fight I think I've ever done, by the way. Perch. Perch. All right, where's your head? Right here. There we go. Hit that head hitbox for big damage. All right, homie. You're done. You're done. Oh, wow. How are those last couple missing? One more hit. Boom! Eat it! Ha! Okay. Ho! That was... I'm going to take a screenshot of that. That was the worst dragon fight I've ever done, but I'm going to put it in the title like I just did the most amazing thing ever. Ho! <laughs> oh, typical, typical YouTuber. <laughs> typical YouTuber. Oh, all right. Let's grab all of this. Oh, wow. 90 experience. Goodness. That was crazy. And what is this? Epic shader grab bag. I have no idea what that even means. What did it do? Nether forged. Oh. Did I just mess that up? Oh, interesting. Level epic can be applied to balloon, revolver, railgun, minecart. Interesting. Okay, all right. I didn't know what that was. I just kind of I just kind of clicked it to be honest with you. Ooh, more XP. Nice. Okay. You. I want to bring you with me. Now I have whatever the heck this type of torch is and I'm hoping that it just works like a regular torch and I can just boop. Haha, -ha! beautiful. Got the egg. Okay, now we have a choice. Now we have a choice. We can either go back to the overworld, use up our levels and stuff, or we can risk it and we can go ahead and head out into the end and get ourselves our purple blocks and I guess an elytra as well because we're probably going to want one of those uh, for well not not for the vault specifically but we need purper and then elytra we might as well get while we're at the uh, while we're at the end city so yeah let's go ahead let's go ahead we're gonna do it we're gonna do it right now I'm gonna grab a water bucket I'm gonna grab into pearls and do I need blocks Ah, oh, we can just mine if we need blocks. Okay, let's go. We're going to find wherever the ender portal thingy is. The oop, the gateway. The end gateway. <laughs> well, I don't think I could have asked for a worse spawn. 
We're gonna have to do quite the bridging over to one of these islands. This, this ought to be fun. <laughs> it's okay. Hopefully we have enough blocks to actually get there. We may actually end up having to ender pearl to the island if we can get close enough because I don't know that there's enough blocks in my inventory or on the island that we spawned on in order to actually get us <laughs> to one of the big islands. Oh, just my luck. I'm having the best luck with both the end and the nether spawns that we get. We're just absolutely killing the game on Fault Hunters. We're just absolutely killing the game. Well, that's not a fortress or in city. Um, not entirely sure what that is, to be honest with you. I'm going to see if I can teleport over there, though. Uh, come on, Ender Pearl. Make it, make it, make it. All right, we're good. We are good. Um, what is this? I actually have no idea. But it's cool. It's some type of swirly thingy. Oh, and there's some type of... Some type of big egg here. What is this from? What is this mod? Uh, Quark. Okay. All right, Quark. I see you making big dragon eggs. I'm assuming that's what this is anyway. It looks like a big dragon egg. So that's what I'm going to go with. Um, we're looking for in cities though. And I already got some uh, chorus fruit and chorus flowers for in case we need it for anything. But uh, in city for purple blocks is really what I'm aiming for at this point. So let's see if we can explore this mainland here and find one. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, our very first in city. It's a baby one. I'm not gonna lie, it's a baby one. Uh, it just has the ship and it looks like only one tower, so it's not a big one at all, but that's okay. All I wanted was an elytra and some purple blocks anyway, so I mean, to be honest with you, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I don't need uh, I don't need a big in city. However, there is another one that is showing up on the map that's over here that is much larger. So we can go over there if we want to. However, I think I would rather tackle that one once I actually have an elytra to fly over there. So I think I would rather get the elytra from this in city, go ahead and head back to the overworld, and then we will. Uh, yeah, no, do, do the stuff and things. Yeah, I'd, ra I'd rather go back and get set up and then come back to explore the end more properly. But here we are. Oh, and there's an end gateway right next to this one as well. So that is very nice. Okay, buddies, I need you guys to just work with me here. I need you guys to, to work with me here. There we go. Ow, ow. All right, and you're dead. Okay, and we're going to get some shulker boxes from this as well, which is going to be very, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and head up. I don't think that we're going to have a big room in this one. I think it's going to be just a little baby guy here. Uh, yeah, this is this is going to be small. Yeah, okay, that's fine, though. That's fine. I don't need a big boy. I don't need a big boy. I just need the ability to... Oh, I hear you up there. Hello. You want to shoot? Yeah, there we go. Shoot at me. Shoot at me again! Or not. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There we go, beautiful. All right, did I get... I didn't get a shulker thing from you. Okay, that's fine. Um, I should be able to teleport over to the uh, ship, hopefully. Hopefully it is close enough that we can throw a pearl that way. Uh, if not, we will see what we do. Uh, ooh, okay. I forgot we have shulkers over there. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and grab our purple blocks first. And then we can also use some purple blocks in order to get over to that, uh, over to the ship. But let's grab what we need first. Alrighty, nailed it. I am inside of the ship. Perfect. One ender pearl throw, and we made it. Now... Just got to juke out this guy and kill him real quick. He may teleport away, to be honest. Nope, he didn't. Let's go ahead and grab our Elytra. Perfect. And let's see what we got in here. Looks like we got a couple of music discs. We got stasis. And we got a helmet that's not bad, actually. Fire protection 4 would be A-OK. -okay. Good something to have. And then we can go ahead and grab up the purple chest just because... 
well, I think they're kind of cute, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think they're kind of cute. We can go ahead and get rid of that in stone. And I think that we are good to go. We can actually head out of here if we wish. But I want to take care of these guys quickly. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea where that guy went. I've been looking for him and... The only thing I can reckon is that he's on the bottom of the ship. That's that's basically all I can think of. I can't find him, so... Instead, I think I'm gonna head down to the ground. In style! Whee! <laughs> oh, perfect. All right, now I just need to go and head through this end gateway over here, and we can head back to the overworld. Ah, feels good to be back and with wings on. <laughs> but this actually kind of concludes our mission because in the last episode and in today's episode, we have been going toward one goal, and that is the Vault Altar, and that is this guy, which we can now make. Let's go ahead and craft our diamond block up and then we can go ahead and put all of this in the crafting table to make the vault altar <laughs> so what this does is it allows us to make vault crystals this is vault crystals that you can use to activate the vault portal and get access to your vaults so vaults are basically uh think of them as like dungeons you go into the dungeon you defeat a bunch of enemies and then you get rewards in the dungeon and when you complete the dungeon you also will fill up this experience bar while you are going through and achieving more in the dungeons. And this is what allows us to unlock mods and things like that in the future. However, we are a pretty long ways off from that still, but this is basically our first piece of anything modded, the vault altar. This is what is going to allow us to access everything else, which is, you know, a pretty big step. So let's go ahead and I want to grab a vault rock out. And I believe all you do is set that guy in there. And now what you do is you provide this guy with these items. So I need 11 beef. I need one phantom membrane. I need 13 quartz and I need 44 granite. I think the only one that's going to be kind of a pain is the phantom membrane. I'm going to have to stay up for a few nights, but the rest of these should be pretty simple. Okay, so to feed this thing, all we need to do is just hit the Q key and it's going to throw it at the table and the table is going to suck up the item and then it's just going to give us a nice little complete text right above. So now we need the beef, the granite, and the phantom membrane. I think I probably have the beef somewhere. It's just going to be in one of these chests. I, at least I think I have the beef. I may have cooked all of my beef into actual cooked steak, but... I'm not entirely sure it would really help if I actually had organized my chest, to be honest with you. And, of course, in typical killer drone fashion, I haven't. And I, I don't see any raw beef. Okay, let's go kill some cows. Ha-ha! Gotcha! <laughs> there was another one. Did he die? Or... He may have died, but I certainly don't see his drop, so maybe he didn't drop anything. Okay, that's fine. We got our phantom membrane, which is the last thing that we needed. And we also have a zombie horde coming after us, apparently. Hello, boys. How are you doing? And a spider. All right. And goodbye. And I think that this should be everything that we need for this crystal. Let's go ahead and let's give this thing a try. As you can see, we have completed the granite, we've completed the beef, we've completed the quartz. Now it is time for the phantom membrane. Boom! Complete. Uh. Oh, 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 I remember. I have to give this thing a redstone signal. I forgot about that. <laughs> I thought that was very anticlimactic, wasn't it? I was like, oh yeah, we're ready. And then all of a sudden, yeah, not even close. Oh, that's rocky stone. I need just like a, a stone or wood button, something like that. Tell you what, let's just let's just smelt up a piece of stone real quick. Where did where'd my stone go? I know I just grabbed one. 
Uh, gra grab that, please. And boom. Okay, smelt that up and get us a stone button, and then we should be able to activate this thing. <laughs> oh, man. I was worried there for a second. All right, let's go ahead, grab that, put that there, and then we'll just kind of kind of do like that, and boom. And now we watch. <laughs> Perfect. And that is our fault crystal type normal objective who knows <laughs> who knows but ladies and gentlemen that is actually all that i have time for for today i do hope that you guys enjoyed this is a uh, very fun mod pack and it's just now getting started as well now we have access to the vault itself which means things are about to get a lot more interesting so without further ado that's gonna be it for me today i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one. You guys have a great day.